video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Career Mode video. And today, we are going to be looking at one of the better, yet probably not well known players in the world of Career Mode right now. It is Alex Teixeira. Now, the reason I say he's not well known is because he's not the sort of player that you'll find his name popping up in your Career Mode all too often. I mean, he's not one of those players that you can send a scout and look in his country for, because you can't, you can't send scouts to the Ukraine, and you definitely don't see him get transferred very often. Yet, this player is an absolute Career Mode gem. The only way that you'd be able to find him though is if you went into the rest of the world category and looked for Shakhtar Donetsk. He's currently a 25 year old Brazilian playing for him although any of you that have a little bit of an idea of football and have watched the Champions League and have watched him play you'll know something about him. He is an absolute ripping footballer. He has got the techers, he's got the skills and he's absolutely got an insane FIFA 16 career mode player. He's been absolutely lining up the Ukrainian league and yes I understand it's the Ukrainian league but how about 30 odd goals and assists in about 20 odd games. That is impressive no matter what. So without further ado, let's take a look at Teixeira's stats. Obviously, 82 rated. He has a potential of 85. The physical attributes look great. The acceleration, the uh, pace, the sprint speed, that's all great. Ball control and dribbling looks fantastic as well as his finishing and some of his passing stats. He's got very decent attributes for that sort of rating, 82. Can play at both uh, center attack and midfield, CDM, center mid, and center forward, although he's definitely not the sort of player that you would want to play at CDM. No freaking way. This guy's way too good. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves, five, 25 years of age as well, so he's still got a few years left in him, although being slightly older, the acrobat specialities, no traits, but an 82 rated player and an absolute gem. And whether you've heard of him in real life or you've heard of him in career mode, none of that matters. He's getting his very own 2025 career mode video and it starts right now. Teixeira, in his first season, he's already gone up and he's already impressed. A plus two in his first season now at 26 years of age, which is great to see. Although it looks like he's only gone up by about seven or so attributes, as you can see the ball control and dribbling, which is now approaching the 90s. Some other stats that have definitely gone up, like his short passing up to 85 now, but aren't being indicated. So something tells me he's had a lot better of a, of a growth over this season than what they're showing. But either way, it's a two plus overall increase in the very first season. Very good start. He's only got one more to go until he hits his FIFA 16 potential. So a brilliant start in terms of growth and overall growth and attribute growth. It's been fantastic so far from Teixeira. And second season, he's only gone back to back. Absolutely sensational. Now up to 86. That's over his potential in his first two seasons. He's definitely, surely, was always going to get over it, surely. But um, now it's just a matter of how far he can get and whether or not he can maintain when we get to 2025. And again, it's the same seven stats that are being indicated, but I still see the short passing. That was eight, it was formerly 80, uh, 85 in the previous first season, now 88 in the second. So there are definitely stats that are going up right now, and it's great to see. It's absolutely superb now, 86 rated. And now for the third and final season until we go all the way to 2025, where Teixeira will be about 34 or 35 years of age still. But either way, can he go up by one or two more overall points in this season? He has, he's kind of done it again at 87. That's where we finish it in the third season at 28 years of age, 87 rated, and immediately becoming one of the better players in the world with that sort of an overall. It's absolutely sensational. And some of those stats now approaching the 90s, in the 90s, we haven't seen much physical attribute growth, which is unfortunate. Mental attribute growth, the exact same, and only a handful of actual attributes in the technical attributes that are being indicated. But we know that they're all going up. It's been great growth so far. All there is left to do is to go all the way in 2025 with Alex Teixeira. So here we go. So here we are, 2025 with Alex Teixeira, who has absolutely been so far a brilliant, brilliant surprise pickup. I know that a lot of you have probably not tried him out. You're probably going with the more usual career mode pickups. Maybe a few of you have heard, have heard of him and given him a go, but this could surely win you over. What's his rating in 2025? Oh, it's 80 rated. He's gone down by three in this season at 35 years of age, which obviously hurts, but at least you know at the start of this season, at 34 years of age, he was 83 rated still, which is crazy. And you see a lot of those technical attributes that have gone down, but you look at things like the ball control and dribbling that have gone down by about three or four, and they're still up in the 90s. Still some brilliant passing and absolutely fantastic uh, technical attributes, even if they're still going down. I can tell you as well that Teixeira actually got as far as 90. He got to a 90. He actually hit that sort of range.
rank. That's unbelievable for him to get to that sort of uh, to for him to get to that sort of rating when his potential is only about 85. He gone way way over it. He absolutely surprised me. He was a he was a super player to pick up. And even though he may not be as well known in career mode, I assure you, you've got to get this man at some point. Was absolutely brilliant for me and could very well maybe find his way to a Premier League team in the future if he keeps playing like this or maybe a real big club. But either way, moving on. That's it for Teixeira. Thanks for watching another 2025 Crimo video, guys. And until the next one, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave in the comments down below your suggestions for the next player. And until then, my name is Master Bucks and have a good one. Bye-bye.